everybody out there, especially you fellow acoustic guitar players. Benedict here today, I've got something very cool with me. It's the Harley Benton Custom Line Acoustic Preamp. If you're not familiar with it or with the concept of acoustic preamps at all, do you need one or don't you need one? It's basically very simple. Do you play in a band with electric guitars, drums, electric bass, keys, whatever? I think you might consider getting one. Why? Well, it's simple. You're basically giving your sound man when you're playing live, a perfectly prepared signal. Why? Because you're able to dial in. You've got an equalizer, you got some bass, your treble knob, and what I think is really cool, a foot switchable reverb, a chorus, but more important, you got your DI out there. The out, DI out means you're now going out with an XLR cable, so you won't have any issues with noise, hum, or whatever. And if you do, you got a DI ground and lift switch here. So for example, we don't have noise here right now really, but if you, it might be the case if you're playing out live, just flip it there and there won't be any hum or hiss or whatever. Yeah, um, so let's hear this thing. Uh, I started out with adding a little bit of reverb, not too much, just like to get a, a nice roomy kind of thing, but you know, as you play outside with your acoustic guitar, you might know it if it's if you don't add reverb to it, it's always like a little unnatural sounding if it like when it comes out of the speakers. So by adding just a little, it just gives enough air to make the guitar sound natural. Without a little unnatural, let's see how far we can dial it up here. Like dwell means how long do you want the reverb? Still there. Might be cool for some extreme settings. You know, everything's allowed. No, no one, you can do whatever you want. But for me, I like it kind of like to leave it there. Or maybe let's go all the way down to see how short we can get it. Still there. Let's leave it here and crank it up and see how much reverb we can actually get mixed into our original signal. As you might have noticed, there's a little modulation going on already if you really crank it up. If I would play it without it, it would sound a little... It's, it's a fun thing to have this one on board. Then we got a little bit of chorus, so that's perfect if you're like into this 80s kind of stuff, 80s acoustic guitar where they had a lot of chorus on it, and you can do it as well with that one. Maybe add a little bit more reverb. The dials here are very self-explanatory. Speed, of course, is the speed of the modulation. I have it kind of like slow at the moment. Let's crank it up a little more. So you're almost getting into like vibrato, kind of like territories. Increase the depth, that's how, how much modulation you want to have with your signal. Let's crank it. You can see you can go to the extremes. Maybe if you don't need it, doesn't matter, but in case you want it, it's there. So let's get back to our setting that we started out before. All right, now we have another cool feature in here, that's the phase inversal switch. This helps a lot if you're having feedback issues on stage, just like flip the phase. You're set then. 
Then we got another knob here. It's this, it's actually like if we switch it to on, it increases the bass and the treble and it's giving you like, like a mid dip. Let's hear it. comes in handy if you want to have like two two presets for like a cue of your guitar just to make sure the guitar fits in the mix mix perfect so like just flip it if you want more bass or not just take it down yeah and of course you have your headphone out then normal output if you want to drive a monitor or an acoustic amplifier and a line in mini jack and very cool, you tune her out. Um, yeah, you're also able, we're powering it with a nine volt adapter here, but you can actually like dial it with a battery as well. And that's it, the acoustic preamp with built in DI. See you next time on Facebook and Instagram and feel free to push the thumbs up. Till then, bye.